difficult, was it, to fit all this together? So where did the idea come from for this panel? The idea for my panel um, basically came from a, a passion of mine, which is the country of Ethiopia. I've been travelling to Ethiopia since 2002, so 16 years now. And 14 years ago, I first went to the south of Ethiopia and I saw that some of the many tribes there. But of all the tribes that, that I found most resonance with, if you like, was, was the Hama tribe. And because of my engagement in Ethiopia through, through my charity, I've been going there regularly. And when people get to know you and they trust you, that, that takes a lot of time before that happens. But once they know you and they trust you, they let you spend time with them as if you're a member of their, of their family. And when I was early stages of my fellowship, I got some feedback from, um, from a Distinctions Advisory Day. And I remember the advice. The advice was, Max, you have to make yourself invisible. So the, the reason that I, I picked this subject of the Hammer Tribe was that I'd, I'd got to know them, particularly this, this family, so well they didn't really notice anymore when I was around. And, and I think that's the way it is with, with any good photography if you're trying to do this kind of subject. So how long and how difficult was it to put all this together? Well, from the very beginning, the first photo in this portfolio is 14 years older than the last one. And I've literally taken thousands of, of photographs of, of the Hammer tribe and uh, I've taken probably hundreds and hundreds of, of one particular family. Um, and so a lot of it was about going through ones that I felt really fitted the criteria. There are many things that the Hammer Tribe do that are interesting in the most uninteresting lighting conditions. And so many of the great photos rule themselves out by very ordinary lighting, by very plain skies. And I would say that uh, the, the latter photographs that I took, um, I, I got to a good image much quicker than those that were taken 14 years ago. I might have had to take hundreds to get one good one 14 years ago. And I think what I learned through my colleagues in the Royal Photographic Society and through, through feedback that I got either on, on feedback days uh, or through one-on-one -on -one advice, that, that really helped enormously. What would your advice be then to anyone trying to put together a fellowship panel? One is to be absolutely determined. I think if it's something that you really want to do, you, you should be prepared to do it and to fail. Um, I failed twice, and, um, but I, I learned every time I failed. There's obviously certain basic principles of, of photography that you need to apply. Certainly to fellowship level, you need to pay attention to detail to everything, to, to the sharpness of the image, to the, to the tones, to the image tones to defects, you need to be willing to invest the time to train yourself or to be trained in, in technique, whether it be image processing technique. I think by the time you've got a fellowship, you know how to, how to expose and take a good photograph. So it, to me, a lot of it is about the concept. And I think hitting on the right concept is, 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 really, is really very important. People have said that to, for your fellowship to succeed, you have to be passionate about the subject. And I feel a very strong and personal connection to, to the Hammer tribe and to this particular family. And so I think that passion has to come through. So I think the difference between fellowship and associateship is the, the, it's the concept, it's, it's what is behind the portfolio. I don't think you can simply go to some foreign country, or it can be your own country, maybe some part of London. You can't simply go there with a camera for a few hours and expect to, to capture something. So, a fellow of the Royal Photographic Society, what does that mean to you? My emotion was, was incredible. I was actually in Ethiopia at the time. It was, um, it was just so rewarding that after having made all of this effort uh, to, to actually see that it was recognised, I feel now I have an obligation to give back because I, I learned so much from colleagues in the Royal Photographic Society. I could never have got to the level of photography that I've got to today w without them. And so I think it's such a great institution, I now feel a personal obligation to give back and to pass on the skills that I've learned in those years. And if I can help younger people, I think anybody who gets to my age basically has an obligation to do that.